record-breaking hunt for the Loch Ness Monster is now underway. Hundreds of volunteers are now working together to find evidence of the elusive Scottish Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. The endeavor, which has been hailed as the largest hunt for the Loch Ness Monster in 50 years, has seen more than 300 volunteers sign up to monitor webcams around the loch and 200 more taking part in a concerted effort to observe the loch in person from multiple different locations. On top of this, camera equipment drones have been scouring the length and breadth of the loch while special hydrophonic equipment is being used to listen out for any unusual sounds under the water. There are hundreds of volunteers lining in uh, the banks of Loch Ness today, all on the quest to find some answers to what is the Loch Ness Monster, said Paul Nixon, a general manager of the Loch Ness Center in Drumcorrick, which uh, co-organized the event. Some of the more recent sightings that I've seen are sonar contacts showing objects in the water at depth. The biggest one I've seen is an object the size of a transit van which has not been explained to me that, uh, as to what it was. It wasn't there when we went back. The poor weather hampering efforts, however, it remained to be seen whether the team will actually find anything of note, especially given how difficult it is to spot things in the loch's churning waters. Not every ripple or wave is a beastie, said Alan McKenna of Loch Ness Exploration. Some of those can be explained, but there are a handful that cannot be explained. This is from BBC News and it's on Unexplained Mysteries by T.K. Randall. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.